so let me start with first acute and we'll start with cold cuff and coriza actually it will be a missed bag of uh, current indications of this uh, scenario as well and along with this how to treat cold cuff and uh, even the hay fevers allergic rhinitis and chronic rhinitis so we'll go through this then again we'll start with back pains and then end, uh, i'll end with the uh, emergency medicines okay okay so let me start cold and homeopathy like alium sepa you know how alium sepa is oh, what type of discharge is see listen this session will be interactive it's not be always one way नोट ऑफ इट so whatever i'm sharing today you need to make a note of it and share everywhere so that it will be very beneficial to all the other people as well so alium sepa as you treat a baby of proper acrid coriza and you give alium sepa and later on he turns into you know chest congestion and he is not able to breathe and he has rails creps when you examine you have to give phosphorus clear first second whenever you are treating any cough which ends in a sneeze you have to differentiate with few remedies that is agaricus anacardium bardiaga belladonna and senega now all complaints of coriza which gets better by warm drinks only two remedies in the materia medica which can help that is arsenic and lycopodium none other than these remedies others won't help apart from this arsenic and lycopodium now i'll share a short poem by dr elizabeth red hubbard she she generally uh, she wrote a poem like we shall have two visits at a neck call like mrs hipper sulfur and her neighbor mrs uh, mr kali ayod i rode on a bus that high west wind yesterday doctor with my niece that is econite how cold violent and got cold violent cold from it so violent cold aggravation all cold riding aggravates that econite here now if i hope to escape before i was so well bundled up usual as i took off my glove to find my money you know i never can uncover so uncovering aggravation without catching cold the only remedy that is sorainum no sorainum also where where sorainum people where sorainum people gets uncovering by head also so they they also keep what Cover, covered the head head all the time because they find so cold now i have been all sweat since and so irritable from the pain i am in the point of fainting and i am so, i am hungry yet worse if i eat when i swallow pain like splinter and go into my ears that is nitric acid so nitric acid also have hot drinks it helps but specially what type of lemonade and anything acid and what nitric acid craves for butter fat okay nitric acid loves makhan loves butter next amon cave is a neglected remedy everybody knows about amon mure spear of action in sciatica but what about amon cave amon cave you can see a plump person like this so all old people or plump child or you know what what happens here they are extremely thirstless aversion to water and acrid watery discharge with dry mouth which suffocates by night and the typical aggravation of amon ka people are 3 am aggravation and they these are the people who always sneeze in the morning like whenever they wake up what happens continuously they sneeze and always remember the colds which go down to the bronchi think of amon ka not to mention its septic sore throat with bluish offensive mucus next capsicum capsicum is a blonde like blond people or obese people chilly people they have what peppery feeling in the throat in the pharynx caladium also and senega also has this and drinking makes us shiver that the chilliness 
shuddering through the body once they drink. Now, very important part here is whenever they cough, the head fly into pieces. If she did not grab it, so she will grab like this. And they have a feeling that it will what? Fly into pieces. Now tell me another remedy who has this bursting feeling of headache when they cough. Immediately, please. Diarrhea. Very yeah. good. Yes. So now next, cough involuntary urination during. So all the cuffs which you are dealing now. See, the pattern here is to help you with the remedies which are very prominent and working in clinical sphere. First. Second. How to get this? You need to have con uh, like constant LSMC. If any case, any case you are dealing with cough, coryza, any case you are dealing, you should take LSMC first or else you won't find the right remedy immediately. And you keep juggling around everything, but you won't find the right remedy because modalities is the only way by which you can help them. So like during cough, if they have involuntary urination, ambrosia, not ambrosia. Ambrosia Artemisia is a wonder drug also in used in hay fever when they have a lot of itching. Where? In the nose. Ambrosia. So keep a note of it. Ambrosia and read a remedy today. Bromium, Cantharis, Causticum, Phosphorus, Natrum, your Pulsatilla, Staph and Squilla. So these are the remedies which are very, very prominent for involuntary urination. You need to differentiate by their coughs and their aggravation period. Next, when you are tired of giving all the remedies and cough is not at all stopping, but their cough will be like this, you know, continue. <laughs> they keep on continuously coughing, 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 and they have minute a gun. Yes, minute gun cough. Gun cough they have gun typical cough. now Coralian people have a typical craving for salty things. So you should keep a note of it that Coralian people love salty things. Next, the most neglected remedy that is Cassia sophera. Even it is used for tropical isnophilia. Cassia sophera, now current situation, whoever cough is not actually Cassia sophera, other name in Hindi in Sanskrit is called as what? Cough destroyer. The other name is cough destroyer for Cassia sophera. So Cassia sophera has the dry cough with irritation in the tickling in the throat and pain in the left side of chest along with that Thick yellow expectoration, redness, pain, itching, watery discharge from eyes, early morning aggravation, and dyspnea get worse during winter, change of weather as well, and also worse by cold drinks. Yet they desire cold drinks too. And this is also another remedy. I don't know many people know or not for osteoarthritis. So read today Cassia sophera. Now, next drug is Cocos Cacti. Cocos Cacti, we all know, ending in a ropey, stringy mucus and mainly for woofing cup, which is not at all going away. But what is the mark symptom for this? They have ropey, stringy mucus. So, regular attacks of tickling in the throat and cough with vomiting with tough mucus. Think of Cocos Cacti. So, specially for woofing cuff in homeopathy, the marked remedies I'm telling you. First remedy is Kaliga. Second is Cocos Cacti. Third is Drosera. And fourth is Pertusin. So, Kaliga, Drocos Cacti, Drosera fails, then Pertusin. This is for typical only woofing cuff. It is more beyond than spongias. Now, early stages of cold, what happens? In early stages of cold, remember not only camphor and echonite along with that ferrum phos, nuxwamica, brinia, gelsemium. Gelsemium, which is strangely enough, is not mentioned in all cancer repertory of coryza. So it is pretty neglected remedy. Now tell me, how do you identify gelsemium? You know how? When you take all the symptoms and patient at last says, when you ask him, what do you feel like to do? And he says, I just want to sleep and I have head heaviness and I'm drowsy or I don't want to work. I don't want to talk. I just want to sleep. I want to lie. That's it. These all confirmatory symptoms. And along with that, he's thirstless. Urination. Yes. Or he's thirstless. 
think of calcium calcium now very interesting remedy which is again you know many people don't know about it or no i don't know dioscoria dioscoria no, dioscoria have a typical smart throat pain smarting pain in the throat in the ears hacking hacking cough and cramps with the cold which is worse by doubling up and better by straightening out like stretching your body so dioscoria is also wonder drug for throat pain which is radiating to ears along with hacking cough now the last stage of cold where there is you know end end stage what happens if you can understand very well the ripe cold pulsatilla is for ripe cold how the discharge of pulsatilla is Anyone? yellow yellowish greenish yellow and thick 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 as well yellow. thick thick thick, thick. and they also need may if pulsatilla fails at that time they may need kali self also yes, or sir. kali iod kali mood sankan sulfur or any of the nosso also may required so keep a note in the ripe cold stages you may need pulsatilla now persistent dry cough so we'll discuss few remedies which has persistent dry cough agaricus isolated coughing attacks then sneezing easy expectoration of balls of mucus cough comes as from spine and there is what there may be a lot of involuntary motions at well now conium cough conium cough is a very constant tormenting cough from dry spot in the larynx they have ticking in the chest as well as the throat pit which aggravates by lying down which aggravates by laughing which aggravates by talking and even the cough during pregnancy that is the only remedy which can help that is conium mac cough seems to the abdomen loose cough without expectoration has to swallow what he has cups of cupramate cupramate you know everyone how the spasmodic <coughs> you know there is lot of spasm in the throat and coughs her self out of breath better by cold drinks tell me another remedy which gets better by cold drink quick costicum yes costicum was deep breathing bending backwards with cramps lacrimation woofing cough painful constriction in the chest and loud lat, uh, rattling in the chest now coming up next drosera see drosera in short word if somebody is coughing and as soon as they lie down and their head touches the pillow and they starts coughing that's the only drug that is drosera arelia resimosa what about arelia resimosa sir it has more congestion and breathlessness compared to drosera not sir, more it more used for sneezing na one second hello it can create individual noise for separate customer but if the customer is same in that case it will so there is lot of retching in drosera and they what happens they even vomit due to retching now the next important remedy that is hyoscyamus loudest cough in materia medica suffocative spells in the cough with paroxysm of night while lying down pneumonia with operation of chest so shattering spasmodic woofing cough with frequent rapidly succeeding coughs excited by tickling as if mucus firmly seated in the trachea at night without in the day time so there is more in night aggravation ignisia ignisia people have lot of spasmodic cough in quick successive shocks and they are extremely sleepy after coughing and the most part here is coughing increases the desire to cough that is what again contradictory symptom of ignisia so irresistible paroxysm of cough without the signs of illness even you can count ignisia for a hysterical cough <laughs> They they do not cough here in presence of people. Then again, when they get alone, they can cough. So it may be hysterical as well. And cough every time he stands still during a walk, whispering voice cannot speak loudly. Costigum cough. They cannot cough deep enough to raise the mucus. That is a rubric in rubric as well. You can find costigum, and they are better by drinking cold water. Now they have typical pain in hip along with cough. especially in the left and worse in evening so any cough you are dealing and as soon as you found drinking better by drinking cold water costicum better by drinking warm water arsenic or lycopodium lycopodium now lecanenum lecanenum has alternating symptoms 
in fact it alternates in the nose throat and they have thick acrid discharge aggravated at night it it often start with cold begins and end with menses especially in females like graphitis macab jinkamet also in amon cap kalikab and hyacinths now if you find if you find any nocturnal nasal discharge which stains the pillow yellow green at the night you can think of lac canine that is a peculiarity of lac canine it stains the pillow with yellow green now the two most neglected remedies are magnum asceticum and jinkum med when to think of magnum when there is coryza worse in evening and better by lying on the back with marked hoarseness jinkum med also where there is left sided worse in afternoon and evening with sudden attacks and intolerable pain in nose of roof and generally what happens what remedy comes to mind whenever patient comes and complains here yahan pe dard hai yahan pe dard hai which remedy ipas kali bai इफेक्ट ऑफ इमोशन एज वेल सो इमोशनल ऑल्सो ट्रिगर्स देर cold next tiktapi nowadays you are facing lot of cases where they have chronic dry they have tendency they want to you know they keep on constant they are trying to bring something out from the nose but they cannot this is a typical symptom of tiktapi and which is called as chronic dry sinusitis okay and they have lot of headache before the discharge comes and they they try to constant blow but no discharge they keep on try कुछ निकलेगा कुछ निकलेगा बट निकल नहीं पा रहा सो इन स्टफी कोल्ड विद ग्रेट ड्राइनेस नथिंग सरपास टिकटा नाउ टेल मी ड्राइनेस ऑफ कोराइजा ऑफ इन्फेंस बट इफ 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 द चाइल्ड इज स्लीपिंग इज नोज गेट ब्लॉक इट कैन नॉट ब्रीथ एट ऑल Yes, my dear colleagues, please read Swamika knows from Clark, Fartak, everywhere. You read from three, four drugs and compare and make a note. You will find the Nag Swamika pure faction, especially in infants, Koraiza, especially dry Koraiza of infants. You will find Nag Swamika. Sambucus is very, very later on stage where there is severe croup and they sweat a lot. And Sambucus is after cough before fever. That is Sambucus. We'll discuss that. See, cough, dry fever before uh, sambucus, dry snuffles with sweat on waking and suffocating cough. They get worse by fruit and worse by light. And It's cough, nice. dry fever before that is sambucus. Now more remedies to differentiate that is chelidonium. We'll do for cold as well. You need to read chelidonium where there is pressing pain in chest on deep inspiration. They'll feel like vajan vajan lag raha. Cough, fan on the bright. This one I like. Fifth, circle of bright. Hope with much. Rattling, Baba. What's your name? My name is Baba. With much rattling and with little expectoration, so there is lot of rattling in the chest, but there is guff comes out very little, or it flies through the mouth like badiaga. You know, badiaga is also wonder drug for the knee pain where get ascending and descending stairs. Okay. Give a note. Yes, bromium. Bromium in protracted colds. also where they have uh, cervical adenitis with the hard cervical glands they have suppose a child is coughing a lot and has a typical spongia cough where there is hardness of the glands you can think of bromia when spongia fails so Your next audio is stop my audio is not stop sir all clear right yes sir yes, yes. sir iodum calcarea self sabadilla sanguinaria Uh, and chlorine are the wonderful drugs next aleria aleria resmosa as somebody told what happens the differentiation is expectoration is very difficult to detach but comes up easily and kali self another remedy in chronic rhinitis and there is a remedy called saponaria that is quella in which there is very the beginning of the throat is from 
sore throat first there will be a sign of sore throat so suppose that somebody catches cold with a sore throat then you can find this remedy koala you can find this is the remedy and uh, very effective in this sore throat koala sap uh, saponaria that is a complete name saponaria koala saponaria yes now another very interesting remedy that is which has a thick yellow discharge like pulsatilla and sensation of wetness in the nose raw nose that is pentorum cidosis you can find, yes pentorum you can find this book uh, in this uh, remedy details more in dewey practical book it's a wonderful drug where there is yellow discharge where there is starts with raw nose and throat and later it converts into thick yellow discharge like pulsatilla now epicac epicac we all know how to see epicac when they have like lot of cough with vomiting tendency and tongue will be clean yes clean. and uh, antim dart tongue will be coated Coated. Coated. so rattling cough antimony cuffs are rattling feeble cuff and another which is like you know cuff which is very very hard like phosphorus it is very very violent that is iodine cuff iodum cuff basically iodum cuff is very very hard like phosphorus and it may go violent so you make a note all the iode cuffs are very very violent as violent as corallium rubrum cuff and another like i told you bromium bromium has a combination of phosphorus cuff and in which you can use bromium when when you think like phosphorus like cuff <laughs> next alumina alumina is for little dry cuffs where the uvula gets uvula is very long too long belladonna you know how the cuff how is the cuff of belladonna Congestion, face plethoric, and what happened? Redness of the face, face flushed while coughing. That is belladonna. And what happens with brinia? Very very thirsty and tongue dryness. Dryness. Throat dryness. Now, what happens with bromium? Bromium it has hoarseness and feeling of fumes in the throat. That's bromium. Now, sina. I love sina in which naughty children wear. they rub the end of the nose and they fly into tantrum and they what happens they no, don't let you examine and also during the cuff they heads off and throw up about it them them they'll throw back headwards while coughing now rumex and sankan are the also biggest polycrest and constitution remedies in cuff you should read that and you know very well how the rumex cuff is differentiated right as soon as they put something above their mouth they stop cuff the coughing gets stopped that is rumex so cured more cuffs with lycopodium and cpr with any other big constitutional remedies and then spongia now stana met squilla not often but but dr herbert robert used to say that he never went out without cantharis and squilla anywhere in his kit for his cough remedies so cantharis and squilla is also wonderful drug for cough so please please read cantharis and squilla now we, let us start with back pain later on we'll finish cold first wait so i don't know how many have attended this session of my cold cough coraza myself sir okay sir thank you so i'll start again just to have a review so cold the common cold is upper respiratory tract infection caused by many different viruses and the common cold is transmitted by virus infected airborne droplets or any one get contact any any contact so acute cold the first remedy is if the cold lasted more than 2 days so there are certain group of remedies which can thought of if cold lasted more than 2 days jalsemia murk ars nux pulse sanguinaria nitricum not sankan alium sepa now natramure holds the first rank the first rank in to treat cold i'll i'll discuss about natramure cold as well so we're not discussing case today and then what happens in chronic cold when a cold has been persisting for weeks without any sign of improvement complete case taking should be done how key notes totality pathology observation 
then only you can reach to semi limum now now to discuss what are the chronic cold remedies that are hydrastis calcarea carb natramute dalcamara murk sulfur and many other remedies depend upon the totality now discussing about hydrastis can hydrastis camps come from the same family of ranunculaceae as pulsatilla comes where there is much thick discharge from the nose so nose discharge thick coryza after that is hydrastis ear pains ear there is strong ear pains during coryza that is hydrastis and nose coryza in sunlight bogar has given hydrastis now let me tell you there was a para written when a cold has settled in the back of the nose and throat with a great deal of phlegm in the throat perhaps deafness there is no better drug than hydrastis and the thermal is towards hot now coming to sulfur when there is great dryness of nose and abundant secretion of thick yellowish mucus loss of smell suited to lean persons and who has skin affections along with that they can perspire very easily think of sulfur and also you can find the rubric which is mentioned by kent mouth taste wanting tasteless of food you can find sulfur as well give me some now coming to the most important remedy magmoor where there is smell and taste both are lost after for a long time after all the signs of cold have disappeared smell diminished taste diminished coryza after that is magmoor written by fatak so keep a note of it kya pain jada hai mam pain bhi mujhe ho raha hai jaisa abhi is time ho raha hai so tendency to take cold now how do you find in repertory also like those people who has a habit to take cold easily that is cold taking becoming easily in summer during so during the summer which is the season is coming this is the remedy which you can think of belladonna people brinia people carovel dalcamara sorinum people so these are the people who can take cold easily in summer now cold taking easily in, from cold feed calcarea fos conium silicia and a next two brick you can think of that is change of temperature suppose he has went from cold to hot hot to cold then you can think of this rubric and find the remedies according to it so depend upon the peculiarities now discussing cough what is cough cough is a protective reflexic action of your body to clear mucus or irritants from your airway so asthma allergies viral infections and bacteria are all common causes of cough now there are two types of cough dry cough which does not produce mucus and people may describe as a dry or thickly and second that is a wet cough which has lot of phlegm and they are also called as chesty coughs now causes of dry coughs mainly there are many like laryngitis sore throat croup tonsillitis sinusitis asthma allergies gerd dust or smoke exposure now you can find this rubrics as well cough expectoration thick cough expectoration greenish cough expectoration yellow so you can find major remedies cough expectoration thick pulsatilla stanum met sulfur creosote yes creosote is also one of the drug so read creosote respiratory today next cough expectoration yellow you can find brinia calcarea carb carbovex drosera phosphorus pulsatilla stanum met staph sulfur and greenish carbo wedge mac carb lycopodium drosera stanum met pulsatilla now what is the objective cough symptoms with repertorial rubrics which i am going to tell you you have to understand what type of cough the patient has in concern to repertory wise if you ask me barking cough choking cough deep cough dry cough exhausting cough hoarseness loose or loose without expectoration nervous cough that is psychogenic paroxysmal cough you can find two paroxysmal cough one paroxysmal calcarea cough calcarea cough racking cough racking cough is whole body moves and hurts during cough rattling cough spasmodic cough suffocative tickling violent whistling cough woofing cough so this is the categories of the cough which is divided into repertorial rubrics so i'm giving here the glimpse which is a you can find a entry point for the differentiating coughs now what do you have to observe in cough 
eating drinking modalities sensation time concomitant type of cough and general modalities so we're not discussing cases now yes now coming to the hay fever the most toughest pass to deal like i believe everyone facing difficulty in hay fever so hay no, fever no. is also called allergic rhinitis causes cold sign and symptoms like runny nose nasal congestion watery itchy red eyes allergic conjunctivitis sneezing coughing itchy nose roof or itchy nose or itching in the roof of mouth or itching in the throat swollen blue colored skin under the eye post nasal drip and fatigue so cause what is the cause hay fever isn't caused by a virus hay fever is caused by an allergic response to outdoor or indoor elements such as pollen dust mites or tiny flecks of skin saliva shed by cats dogs so animal fur and feathers so always take while taking history please ask whether they have a pet in the house or not so how do the symptoms manifest the symptoms are caused by particles of pollen of the hay there is they find entry point from the nasal cavity it goes inside then it causes the irritation like violent incessant sneezing rukta hi nahi hai chi incessant sneezing streaming eyes nostrils chilliness and feverish symptoms headache often great depression general weakness and wasting so why the symptoms are different it may be asked seeing the pollen is everywhere but inhaled by everybody right but not all person are same everyone is different so the reaction is different so individually you have different symptoms now what is the difference between hay fever or common cold hay fever sign of symptoms that is runny nose with thin watery discharge no fever onset is immediately after exposure to elegrans and duration as long as you are exposed to elegrans and what about common cold there are runny nose watery thick yellow discharge with body aches low grade fever 1 to 2 3 days after exposure to a cold virus and it may be last to 3 to a week now free remedies which is be considered in hay fever that is naphthalene in large number of cases has act sabardilla where there is violent sneezing and lacrimation redness along with swelling of eyelids contractions and stupefying headache arsenic with thirst fever restlessness and anguish from cold air we all know aggravation by cold air and drinking by warm water ameliorates now next sorina Sorinum will cure large number of cases where there is great sensitiveness to cold. Patients like to be near to fire and wrapped in furs even in summer weather. Tell me a remedy. Even if he sits in front of fire, he he gets so much of chills during fever. Sitting in front of fire, still he'll get chills, lot of chills. It is not at all subsiding. Which is the remedy? Keep yourself. Keep yourself. वो आग जला के बैठ भी जाएगा ना उसकी इतनी इतनी चिल्स है उसकी कभी नहीं जाने वाली इतना इतना चिल्स है इतना हाई ग्रेड फीवर नहीं कल तो सिर्फ दो ही दिन सिलेशिया अरेनिया डायडेमा रीड फीवर ऑफ अरेनिया डायडेमा I would request all the participants to please mute yourselves and be asked to yes. So Arundo Moriticana. Arundo Moriticana is a fever drug where there is lot of itching in the mouth, in the roof of mouth. Along with that, what burning. So throat dryness, swelling, amelioration does not. There is another remedy, Vithya. Throat irritation, public speakers and singers. White here. Please, requ I am requesting everyone to mute their mics. We are not so poor today. We are very tired. Last week, Sila. Mute. Like this, we are not going to do it. Last week, Sila. This is the idea. Mute. So, nose, hay fever, annual coryza, 
ड्राइनेस ऑफ म्यूकस मेम्ब्रेन नोज माउथ एंड थ्रोट सो एवरी वेयर इज ड्राइनेस थ्री रेमेडीज आर मार्क सिनापिस नाइग्रा स्टिकटा पी एंड वाइथिया now sinapis nigra is very neglected remedy it is a wonder drug you can ask in with there is hay fever there is lot of coryza lacrimation and sneezing and discharge is specially acrid have frequent stoppage of nostrils specially left sided and there is great dryness in the anterior nares throat feels hot inflamed scalded and the cough is barking in nature relieved by lying down tell me If all the remedy fails, then which is the remedy in hay fever? Rhinum. Rhinum. Victor. There. In, along with, I'll tell you more points. Along with hay fever. Stamen. The stamen. The staminum. He has chronic, chronic rhinitis and chronic nasal hypertrophy also. Lufa operculata. Yes. 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 Lufa. You should not forget lufa. Lufa operculata, where there is excessive. chronic uh, you know uh, chronic sinusitis and there is basically nasal hypertrophy nasal turbinate hypertrophy think of lufa so in stricta p at night discharges almost cease air passage become dry paroxysm of sneezing more frequent explosion seem to number more at each paroxysm sneezing coughing almost incessant very little sleep until morning when hyperemia gradually subsides Air passages become moist, and at sunrise there is again profuse discharge from eye and nose, which is hot and excoriating, causing rawness and soreness of cheek in the border of nose and upper lip. This is the writing which has been written by Doctor Herring on Stikta P. So Stikta P, never forget. And Stikta P is one of the drug. I already told you, sleeplessness after injury. After any operation, no, no, fracture, 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 fracture. Yes, fracture or any re-correction of fracture, and mm. after that the person is not able to sleep. The only remedy can help that is Sikta P. So, let me tell you some repetitive rubrics: irritability in hay fever, Sikta P. Nose hay fever, like I told, nose, mouth, and throat. Sinapis nigra, Sikta Vaithya. In summer, which is upcoming now, Elam Sepa, Ambrosia. बड़ी आगा डल का जेलसीमियम हिस्टामिनम काली सल्फ मैग्नम फॉस नाजा नैप्थलिनम नाइट्रम्यूर फिलेंड्रिनम सैंक एन ए सैंगुनेरिया नाइट्रिकम सिनापिस नाइग्रा एंड स्टिकटा पी सो इन द स्प्रिंग सीजन एलियम सेपा बंबूसा ब्रलका मारा जेलसीमियम लेकेसिस नाजा सोराइनम पायरोजिनम सबाडिला सैंक एन एंड ट्यूबरकुलिनम नाउ what you require is acute case taking require diligence know everything and inquire less and understands well then only you will be able to find similimum like what happens the patient like they come and they say doctor i have cold please give me the remedy that is where the problem is you cannot so what is the problem large number of homeopaths do not try to find out the remedy this is why we prescribe more than one remedies Record a symptom or two. They prescribe the remedy. Even they prescribe the combination of ten remedies. So that is where the problem is. So what do you need to consider? Like I told you, LSMC. Ask the generals of energy level, thirst, craving, aversions, mood. We should teach our patients to repair their report their acute cases properly. If the patient is edu educated or observant, they give us easy way to find the similimum. so again coming to back pain this was the hay fever and uh, cold now we'll start with back pain again yes so what are the remedies which is most important in back pains first brynia kalika natremur nux formica rustox cepia sulfur so these seven remedies actually cover a wide portion of the back aches how first asculus asculus is a wonder drug for all the sacroiliitis which you you may think like rustox or cepia but which is not right sided sacroiliac back ache which is relieved by standing asculus also has a concomitant symptom of what piles and the pains are 
excruciating and which they forcing the patient to limp and they are they, they bend one sided you know these are the people who comes in the clinic like this in the bent face <laughs> so think of asculus at that very moment because they more every problem is on the sacroiliac region he cannot raise his body and has to walk bent pains on stooping walking feels as if back would break or as if sacrum is broken that is asculus hippocastrum pain so not necessary they might be having piles or not but if they have this typical symptoms it will never betray you i can say that antim tart antim tart you know it's used for in, uh, chicken pox and poxes they have typical backache and it has one of the worst backaches in acute diseases calcarea fos calcarea fos is used in ankylosing spondylitis but how the calcarea fos looks jo chote wala dikh raha what is the constitution of calcarea fos plain thin correct thin thin tall like no, yes. instead of fat yes so they, they these are the people who come and they complain of what lot of joint pain spondylitis lumbar spondylitis cervical spondylosis knee pain region pain so don't get lost in their pains look at them with your eyes how the constitution is then you prescribe epidurium perf is known as queen of backaches when in cold cases like they complain of muscular aches headache i and they have terrific thirst while uh, in, during the chills and they have pain in the bones rather than muscles there is always epidurium into the rescue now i think maccarb is like, not many people know about it but maccarb is a drug for back pain where you see the pain goes relieved by motion now tell me who has neuralgic teeth pain and due to teeth pain he starts walking everywhere what is a drug macar yes macar 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 is the pain where macar is the probable only remedy where where if somebody has a pain in toothache and he is restless or walking continuously during the pain give macar and see the effect in straight away his pain will so, subside so only for toothache no it's that's what i taught about toothache in general in back pain also now sir sir in toothache in pregnancy mostly no 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 toothache where there is modalities will be like this restless no in in pregnancy yes. and walking uh, ml macarb is mostly indicated you can you can but you have to see if there is restlessness then only you can think of macarb yeah and their pains are relieved by motion the major symptom the modality is relieved by motion like rustox so then sir how to differentiate between rustox and macarb because the like uh, restless uh, this uh, rustox also get better by motion and the same and, with macarb how and, what are the like differentiating factor yes tell me what is the main feeling of macarb and what is the desire oh, of macarb and aversion of macarb and what is the desire of macarb and what is the desire of macarb orphan feeling macarb orphan yes, feeling yes, is yes, macarb yes. okay done one one tick done second you come to uh, the desire and aversions of macarb milk milk aversion for me aversion milk is no, aversion aggravated complaints get aggravated by milk <coughs> and, and and what about rust off Desire milk. Desire for milk. They love milk. Desire for sweet, I guess. Rustox yes. loves milk. Hmm. Oh, it's old. old milk. Milk. That is the difference between milk and rustox. Next, the scapular pain. You can think of phosphorus, where there is more weakness, and also along with sternum, where you cannot hold yourself. There is lot of weakness in the sternum, and there is another remedy which is verulinum. It has very very affinity. in uh, back pains so please do read today veronilum and which has a same kind of backache compared to antim tart now coming to brainia now you are tired of giving all the remedies and patient is still and cannot move okay they want pressure and something hard in their back and lying on the affected part is amelioration and and they they want something cold also in the back they are thirsty grumpy worse at 9 or at 3 by the clock think of brainia any pain cervical lumbar don't go disease wise goes by symptom wise 
Next comes Kali Kaap. Kali Kaap's backaches are more into lower into sacral region. And it often goes with menstrual difficulties. Like, you know, they'll take all that. My back is broken into two. So, and the lying on the affected parts aggravate. So that is the difference between Bryony and Kali Kaap and Colosin as well. Okay. Bryony and Colo both can be lying on the affected part MLs. And I like 100 times I've taught you how to find Colo. I think everyone knows that, right? Yes, sir. Yes. No, sir. Will no, sir. No, sir. Me? No, sir. Please repeat. Make the patient lie down. Okay. The, if your legs are like this, okay. Either do one thing, either fold the limbs, drawing up limbs, and they feel better. That is that is what typical of colo. Or ask the patient to extend. Yeah, no, no, no. Take his leg and put here and do like this. Everyone can see this? No. This, this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. This, like this, this is Colosin will feel absolutely painless once he does this. He feels absolutely better. This is a confirmatory for Colo. Or ask the patient to stand and fold their limbs like this, the affected part of sciatica. And see the wonder of Colosin. Give him straight away in 20 minutes, you'll see the magic. If Sir, you have cancer patient, ko bataya tha, Colosin. Yes, in cancer, maybe diya tha. So, Colosin ka ye hai. And suppose it aggravates, then think of Kali ka. Definitely the other factors also too has to be looked down for this. Even, even, uh, even you can find a lot of people lying on that affected part, ML, that is also colo. So coming to semisifuga, semisifuga has all the pain starting from the spine, from the neck to the lumbar spondylosis. So suppose a patient started complaints, he has a cervical spondylosis, gradually progress into lumbar and it has a lot of stiffness and fear of rats. Literally, when you ask them the fear, it will be actually in their eyes. They'll be terrified. That is typical of semisifuga. And it goes down to the shoulders. Next is natramure. Natramure also has a distress in the neck. I'll discuss natramure next. Natramure as a wonder drug for back pain also, but they want a lot of pressure. They want to put hook behind them in the chair, a hard thing under them in the bed. That is natromule. So they go around sitting in chairs with the back of their hands lying fat on the sacrum. And you know all the natromule characteristics may go well with that. So that is natromule. Okay. Sif chronic depression ke liye nahi hai. Natromule, read Coriza of natromule. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Naxwamika. Naxwamika has a backache of big muscles. Big, big muscles. Latismus dorsi. Up and down the back. And they have a lot of chills also. And overexertion followed by chilling, crankiness, and aggravation in the morning. Although motion does not help, but it still rise and go. Relief of heat, constipation, impatience, irritability. These are all the accompanied symptoms of Naxwamika. So they feel better by heat. Now coming to belly spee, I'll tell you belly spee is very interesting in where there is compression factors, where there is compression. I know many people might be seeing the cases nowadays. There's a lot of, because of the osteoporosis also. Okay. In old ages, there you can find cases of uh, compression factors or any concussion or any injury. So it is called as what railway spine or railroad spine, or the patient has been in an accident or uh, in a collision, which has pain, what upward, up and down, up and down. So complete upper, upper uh, part of the spine and lower part of the spine is also getting affected. That is belly spine. Next coxigodynia pains. Zincum is a great for coxigol pain and also hypericum and also ruta. Rustox. So rustox, of course, it is left-sided and drawing up limbs aggravation. And also it acts on right sided as well. And what do have walking emulation like pulsar tila. So walking ML Rustox is same as pulsar tila and another drug which I taught. Macca. Macca, yes. So, the neglected Macca. one. Macca. Yes. Now, sepia, the washer movement backups. This is called as the ironers backup. And who are ironers? Laundry, laundry people. Laundry people. Or our daily home, like... The people who are in the you know working room, all mm. the women who are actually doing a lot of work and they have this pain 
that is sepia the einer's back act i think that is a point which has been written and considered all the time for sepia and they are worse from using the arms this is the main symptom along with sepia sulfur sulfur who cannot get out of a chair without pushing standing and waiting Absolutely. think more backaches because sulfur actually is a wonder drug for it's a universal yeah. drug for pain and especially sciatica standing aggravation yes, also sir. and you can even get osteoarthritis of spine or pre arthritic backaches in an x ray you can find oas spine so what i want no, to say is only rustox is not the remedy for the rusty hinge but when they cannot get up of the chair then they try to sit down get within 4 inches and fall into the chair hai na itna dur se hi baithenge turant achanak gir jayenge that is sulfur clear now yes, lumbar management no, cervical pain management first remedy that is paris quadrifolia paris quadrifolia whenever you find a patient which has cervical spondylosis and they have typical sensation and numbness on their tingling in the fingers which radiating from here with acute numbness and heaviness and the pain begins from nap nape of the neck shoulders and all the whole side renders even arms they feel powerless paris quadrifolia will never disappoint you next lecanthus so paris is more left sided and lecanthus is right sided so cervical spondylosis where there is stiffness lot of spasm in the back you know and they become stiff and they have severe pain splitting bursting pain aggravates by movement on head think of lecanthus sankan sankan comes where there is stiffness of neck in the right side with great pain on the movement and even in the frozen shoulder they cannot lift their arms so aggravation of lying on affected part and ml by lying by back so pain is always confined to shoulder shoulder cap cervical region and trapezius so every movement of head there is lot of pain next semicifuga semicifuga or actia resmosa is prescribed when there is pain in neck of the portion like i told you from over use of fingers like people who are you know uh, every day they are in computers keypad long hours with a odd posture who plays piano so all the this is today's remedy everybody is like involved in their phones all time and they have pain so semicifuga stiffness ranunculus bulbosus there is more pain during in the morning hours and any motion aggravates the pain and moving the head also along with that it has a numbness of feelings arms and along with the deep breathing the pain also increases in ranunculus bulbosus calmia calmia is one of the important remedy for cervical spondylosis where the pain is associated with numbness of the part so here the pain originates at the neck portion and spreads to arms and fingers and you know what type of pain they have shooting pain lactic like pains the pain is from paroxysmal like dull persisting pain found in rustox and along with that they can have vertigo dizziness looking downwards so i treated a case of cervical myelopathy with calmia so now to dd with lumbar remedies i have bought this chart colosin screams in pain sciatic pain shooting pain better by pressure worse by least motion limbs drawn up like hedgehog that is what hedgehog mac was always talking of pains every night neuralgic spasmodic contractions right hip pain worse by walking followed by numbness tingling goes into the left toes legs ache by going into the bed so while they sleep they'll keep on complaining that their legs are paining now coming to the dyscoria dyscoria are irritable cross people dull pain neck stiff back limb and back pain so dyscoria how to come from dyscoria ask them to just bend backwards and you feel better simply give dyscoria so sharp pains in the back drawing pains in the sacrum spinal hyperesthesia they will feel lot of you know tingling and prickling in the limbs along with in the spine valeriana valeriana is used for herniated disc herniated disc in mri you can find that herniated disc and valeriana people how to confirm i'll show you if all can see me yes sir then leg right leg right leg or left uh, mainly right leg if you ask them to put like this straight and they'll complain of sharp pain sharp pain that is that like straightening of the limb aggravation that is the rubric you can find valeriana straightening of the limbs so that is where valeriana comes confirm you know valeriana has a plain rustox and macab like picture but when you rustox also fails macab also fails what to do think of valeriana because it has exact pain from calf to heel so people will usually point out ki mera calf se heel tak pura pain ho raha then you consider 
valeriana phytolaca phytolaca is wonder drug it comes between where bryonia and rustox so you typical find a patient looking like a bryonia and having rustox like pain please go by phytolaca how when there is electric shock like pain in hips thighs worse by motion they are extremely in the, you know excruciating pain and you know you can see the face also they they, they feel like they are going to die due to pain because why you know phytolaca is more syphilitic sir pain with stiffness in the piriformis region back force nephilim nephilim is the remedy where you can find lot of pain in sciatic nerve where there is numbness with it amon more left sided sciatica where you feel what better by pains are rubbing and they feel they always like lean sideways while walking due to pain calcarea cap are the they, those people who are more into vitamin d deficiency more are bulky flabby constitution osteoporotic they have lumbar cervical you give calcarea cap as the first remedy or in lm potency or in 30 you'll feel the, all their lumbar spondylitis or cervical you'll definitely get results because you're giving a constitutional remedy so never go by this see, see the they're built as well so these remedies are differentiated here but don't go by this the differentiation also consider the constitution also now euphorbinum euphorbinum is a pain reliever which is used especially in the cancer pains the tearing tingling pain of the remedy which is relieved by motion like rustox ferrumet ferrumet has typical hip joint pain which is more from evening till midnight like sifilinum and the patient although he can hardly put his feet on the ground and walks about for relief so slightly walking mls not continuous walking now kali iod patient are those patient who are actually worse at night pains like they complain that i have strong pain at nights and they are better by motion so where you have syphilitic like you know if the patient is uh, suffering from thyroid or have a syphilitic constitution and the pains are aggravated by midnight and they are worse you have already given phytolaca not responding you given all the remedies not responding and they are better by motion rustox also given not responding the only remedy will rescue you that is kali iod kali phos kali phos is most pains are in the sole of the foot ledum pal ledum pal is an ascending sciatica niche se upar menenthes menenthes trifolata the pain during the pain his leg will jerk in sciatica me the leg will jerk they have so much of pains natramure they have tensic pain in right hip and knee plumbum is used in chronic sciatica where there is atrophy or emaciation of the limbs now ruta ruta feels must better lying on the back they feel relaxed in, in the sciatica pains they are deep seated and they are more into deep seated pains and along with the history of injury and contusions now the most neglected remedy is orum iodatum where there is orum like depression with strong numbness like nephilim and colosynth has no results think of orum iod where there are confirmatory symptoms of depression restlessness open air ml by sitting by lying in bed and warm aggravation so orum iod is very hot orum is hot and iodatum extremely hot so orum iodatum next indium indium is a medicine where there is lot of stiffness in the neck shoulders sleepy and irritable with headache and their pains are worse on begin to move and rheumatic pain across the shoulder up to the head flexion or rotation on the head dull aching pain in back along with lumbar region so they are restless cannot sit still and they have lot of stiffness that is indium now interesting remedy is indigo indigo in which pain in limbs are worse by every meal they are keynotes are they they feel like thousands of needles are sticking in the needs uh, there is another uh, remedy also cotyledon uh, has anyone read about this cotyledon no cotyledon no one okay cotyledon is a one of the remedy also they have the strong, strong uh, same feeling thousands of needles pricking in the needs same as indigo and cotyledon is also indicated in sciatica so aching stinging burning bruise pain in sciatic boring in knee joint immovable stiffness that is indigo immovable stiffness ankle pain extending to leg extending lameness 
so indescribable pain from middle of the thigh to knee so what the patient will complain especially for indigo from the middle of the thigh from middle of the thigh to the knee there is a pain from middle to the thigh to knee that indigo coming up next ignitia ignitia back neck stiffness nape and large glands nodosides in the neck pain in os sacrum in the morning and lancination pains like knives from loins to the thighs and they get sensibility soles of the feet when walking shooting pain as if they'll feel like ulceration in the soles ghao jaisa darad de raha hai andar pura pair ghao jaisa that is ulceration in the soles of the feet so sensation of burning of the heels at night and placing them near one another when they come contact they are cold to touch this is a fix it's a actually observation objective but let me tell you ignitia is one very very important drug for this sciatica as well violent sacral pains like shooting pulling and like squeezing like a claw imagine how the patient will come and he'll complain like they have pura noch raha hai mere ko noch raha hai noch raha hai they'll complain like this noch raha hai that is ignitia now let me tell you the only remedy rubrics related to ignitia in pain every winter sciatica ignitia every winter all winter they'll yeah. complain pains of sciatica summer ml so ignitia people be the most happiest people and they won't complain of lumbar uh, sciatic nerve hypersulf also and rustox as well next salicyclic acid salicyclic acid in sciatica is used where they'll complain lot of burning pain as if their foot is an ant hill what is ant hill chitti ke ghar mein paav dal dega chitti kaatega kaisa lagega pura mirchi jaisa that is typical of salicyclic acid so salicyclic acid pain is left sided extending to knee to tip of toes also salicyclic tip of toes so anxiety worrying restlessness melancholic wants to be quiet and they also feel fainted acid hai to prostration rahe gayi next elatrium elatrium is what for used for what suppress malaria consequences elatrium is useful for jaundice of new borns in infants there is another drug myrica serifera for jaundice of infants myrica serifera will never be treated so mental disorders coming from consequences of suppressed malaria irresistible desire for wander from home at night elatrium pains are more downward and left to the tip of toes now viscum album high blood pressure malignant high blood pressure plus sciatica not plus blood pressure malignant high blood pressure so malignant blood pressure along with hot flushes sciatica and when you see the spine or mri you will find bilateral sacralization of spine bilateral sacralization of spine then you can think of viscum album which aggravates by winter and constipation also and sciatica is tearing in both thighs now the rubrics pinching hot pincers like garam garam ekdam chubha raha ekdam that is viscum viscum album also in winter sciatica along with ignitia and sciatica with otorrhea generally what happens you know you will think of tellurium but viscum extremity pain sciatica with left otorrhea viscum nak swamika like i told you nak swamika has a very sharp shooting pains drawing in arms extending from the shoulder to the fingers get up at night and walk due to pain like mac calm now fever with sciatica with chills pains in thigh as if broken so they'll have they'll complain that the thighs are broken now pain starting from extending to knee to the hollow of the trochanter extremity is pain sciatic nerve trochanter perspiration with anxious nak swamika so imagine from trunkat from trochanter the pain radiates that is nak swamika so you can find all the pains from radiating from trochanter to downwards and standing aggravation at night aggravation nak swamika now many other remedies are there gaultheria agaricus radnica ruta ledampal hypericum by spinal injuries kalibai tellurium met from pain from tellurium met is interesting here ha huh? last cervical to fifth dorsal vertebrae from last cervical to fifth dorsal vertebrae very sensitive to worst touch 
and these are the people who will always complain like coughing and sneezing their pain aggravates so there are many many remedies so always prescribe on totality now repertory niners you can find lumbar pain amelioration by leaning on the chair euponium euponium is always also used in uh, self anxiety blockage of fallopian tubes sarza parila next sh screaming shooting pain limbs hip to knee stitching pain tearing motion aggravation sciatica colosen pain sciatica sciatic nerve left with swelling so there is swelling in the leg ignitia now syphilitic pain stillingia when syphilinum fails in syphilitic pains is not just in sciatica i am telling about even in the bone tuberculosis or in the necrosis of bones also when you find syphilinum not working think of stillingia syphilitica is a another drug which is very helpful when you fail so extremity is coldness chilliness sensation of feet heel in left sciatica agaricus extremities pain sciatica rest cannot although motion aggravation the more the pain the severe the chills so there is more pain along with more chills pulsatilla pain sciatic nerve stool at straining head so whenever they will strain at stool they will complain the sciatic pain is aggravating nakswamika platina rustox cpia telurium pain sciatica nerve constipation with hemamelis lycopodium nakswamika plumbum ruta and sulfur now last session so only i'll take 5 minutes more and we'll end this we have few emergency lacerated wound calendula 200 works wonder in oral doses or 30 also you can use no harm but lacerated you think of calendula sensitive tissue damage hypericum 30 200 penetrating wound penetrating wound are wounds which are you know after pen is suppose no piercing is not getting healed up think of ledum pal ledum yes think of ledum pal now what happens any penetrating wound we think of arnica first but later on if it's not helping then please you see the modalities and think think of ledum pal bruises arnica is one number one drug for bruises and if suppose these bruises are not at all going away you have to give acid salp glandular tissue injury conium mac is the one drug which is indicated for all the glandular tissue injuries and suppose if there is a sharp or surgery after there is a breast injury or any uh, you had any breast operation and after that you have anything then you breast uh, belly spe suppose you get a cancer in mammae after a uh, breast operation or breast injury you can think of belly spe belly spe yes suppose mastectomy was done and then she got cancer in the breast right you can think of belly spe you can read mammary tumors after operations or this you can find belly spe <clears throat> so head injuries arnica if not better in 12 hours and the patient looks more fogged or delirious state then think of opium and if opium also fails think of heliborus sometime patient is well for 2 2 3 days after injuries and then there is ear bleeding give hypericum and another remedy for scalp wounds that is calendula 30 or 200 natrum self head injury is another drug where there is what there is unconsciousness what happens or convulsions after head injury only drug that is natrum self now natrum self there are more are depressed and they cannot sit in the sun or hot aggravation next drug is secuta secuta how to different because natrum self and secuta both are head injuries very prominent medicines so secuta people are more irritable and bad tempered they cannot be still those are secuta now eye injuries aconite for the first drug for acute inflammation coccus cacti where there is injury after foreign bodies in the eye ha na injury of foreign bodies in the eye you think of coccus cacti arnica where there is blow or hemorrhage in the conjunctiva symphytum where there is direct blow in the suppose uh, anyone playing cricket and the tennis ball or ball hits to the eye nice. and it blue black symphytum is the drug that's it ruta whole eye inflamed bluish more pain in the socket sprain and fractures now arnica swelling dislike to move even after amputation arnica removal after bad wisdom tooth also indicated hypericum where there is lot of scar tissue rustox when there is pain is better by movement now if there is sprained or fractured limb that has persistent weakness then you give calcarea carb as it is chronic of rustox and if rustox also fails then pulsatilla clear now strontium carb where there is joint injuries 
joint injuries suppose joint one talking about sprains also ha huh? sprain strontium carb is one of the main drug for the sprains where there is such a big swelling and it is like calcarea carb the joint which is badly injured or you cannot turn or move it is so weak and stiff only strontium carb will help not bovista bovista is edematous swelling after fracture where there is swelling lot of after fracture suppose there is a fracture and there is lot of swelling then you give bovista it is it will help and where there is sprain and there is lot of swelling such a big swelling in sprain it may be uh, to a second grade or third grade sprain think of strontium carb not ruta ruta won't work only bad back ache due to fatigue or injury all remedy given no effect brainia is the drug brainia is the remedy sepsis boils clear on the patient constitutional remedy if not then these remedies these remedies are hypersulf calcarea sulf sulfur calcarea silicia kali by pyrogenum and tuberculinum so there may be purulent discharge but it never finishes silicia will always finish that drug uh, that uh, condition of boils and kali by is the wonder drug for boils over the tibia whether it boils over the tibia even i taught you kali by has a punch out ulcers right remember mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Arbuncles, anthracinum, tarantula, uh, arsenicum, tarantula cubensis in carbuncles, rustox, and in cellulitis you may need snake remedies like Rotalis horridus, pyrogenum, and very acute perianal or perineal inflammation or swelling does uh, does well on rustox. So remember that acute perianal or perineal inflammation or there is swelling, think of rustox. Now, for ulceration, you can think of calendula, where there is horrid ulcer, which appears on the shin bone or ankle, ankle or shin bone ulceration. Now, kali bai also used for ulcers, where a sluggish with clear cut edges and a dirty white discharge, which nearly always dries on it. Then kali bai is indicated. Now, if the ulcer is higher up, just below the knee, think of lycopodium. It does not matter on which leg it is. If it is rather nasty and offensive creeping out in the center looking horrid don't forget moxol in gastric ulcer and varicose dermatitis or ulcer think of carbovitch the best when remedy that is carbovitch emotional shock econite opium fright shock natrium urinisha emotional shock opium in cva accidents thank you so much please do share feedback in instagram put on your stories please 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 it's my hearty request i am working so hard just to aware and i really want other people also to learn about this thank you so much everyone i'll take questions thank you sure sir ucho sir sure sir to wah kodi aa raha hai thank you very much thank you sir thank you thank you thank you sir thank you so much sir, i want thank to you. ask one question uh, yes please a short uh, time i asked you about water doses uh, on instagram yes, today sir, yes yes and ask ask the question sir reveal the answer acha reveal the answer that was eel serum eel serum eel serum sir. eel serum 0.1 Oh. And as what there was a family history of hypertension, we gave medorinum, and medorinum two hundred one dose was given. That's it. The ten m, na? Ten m or ha? Ten m. Ten m one dose was given. Yes. Okay, sir. That's that's the case. I thought Kali Gap, sir. No, that was ill. Sir. One question, sir. Asthma, yes. um, aggravation of morning and after motion. Asthma, aggravation and. morning after motion early morning after motion early morning after motion asthma you can hmm. think of kali carb if kali it carb. with modality modalities i need chain smoker and uh, old age chain smoker and old age definitely you can dd with carbovage and kali carb thank you sir yes sir one more question yes Uh, every time uh, patient every time taking multivitamin tablet she is suffering from heart stool constipation you can stop the multivitamin tablet <laughs> no matlab usse zaruri rehta lekin wo hamesha aisa hi ho jata hai problem usko ek bar ferritin levels check karo 
Okay, sir. Oh. Sir, one question. Yes, go ahead. Sir, patient says that when they eat, 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 Yes, tell me what is the question you need to know. Uh, sir, uh, I just ask you that we water dose prepare karte hai na, after dispensing uh, one cap at interval of five minutes, we prepare for the second. Uh, uh, after ten ten minutes, so water discard karke fir se banana hai. No, no, no. Wahi wahi bottle ko use karna hai, and in that you have to use the same bottle, and it is necessary. It not necessary to repeat all the cases you give five five minutes. It's during the acute only. Acute. In the chronic cases you can give like BD. Or TDS upon the patient susceptibility or individual uh, symptoms. That's it. So you they can keep that bottle for a day and use it from. They can the, use uh, for three months and four months also, unless your water should not be dirty. That's it. Okay, okay, there. So I wanted to ask. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. So thank you, sir. yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Feedback. Next class, which day, sir? Sorry, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good night, sir. Good night. Good night, sir. Good night, everyone. Good night, sir. Thank you so much.